some of us should be doing it, and why think of the slides that this is okay to do, you don't have to be afraid of it, such as you know, writing out those addresses of the river sectors and stuff. Because how can you have a home there before knowing where they live? And right now, if you go to UCLA, you can't even have a group at UCLA without paying $60. So the only place you can have access to the river sectors is at their homes. And if you want to shame them for what they're doing, if you want to have social pressure applied, you need to be at their house in order to reach them. But how or you have to pay sixty dollars to reach them at UCLA, but you shouldn't have to. So why isn't someone letting people know this is where you can find out the lists of addresses, the home addresses, go and reach out and make a case and demand it to be legal. If anyone tries to make it illegal, and if they do it right, I don't think it'll be proven to be illegal. The problem is most people that do it right now do it and they glorify all the illegal actions that are taking place. And any layperson looking at it will see that this is being done in a way to motivate illegal actions. But I don't see anyone actually stepping up and promoting legal actions in a way that even the layperson will understand is something we need to protect as a society. And I mean, you are a good example of someone who has been to prison who can't risk doing anything illegal and has been thinking about this a lot. I mean, why don't you figure out a way to do it publicly and insist on our right to do it? I think that would be a completely legitimate uh, tactic. I mean, I think it is legally a little more dicey when you're talking about, about a home address versus a place of business. Um, there is a distinction there. Um, and uh, so I would encourage anybody, regardless of whether or not that accompanied any sort of, any sort of provocative, uh, um, anything provocative, um, to, to talk to a lawyer. But, um, but I am sure. Okay, thanks.